Okay, if all goes well today, today will be moving day, hooray. Um, so something I did last night is I quickly put up my speaker shelves, which you can see off camera I've painted and um, they're just attached in like they were before. So they're sort of slightly hidden and floating, but not entirely, but they look they look good. I also use the um, miter saw at a 45 degree angle and just to trim off a bit more so it's easier to put the cables through because actually I found when I had it in uh, my office in the house, it was a bit tight to get the cables through here. Um, not so much for the uh, left hand one because it's just one cable, but for the right hand one, there's actually three cables. So the cable that runs to the left hand speaker, there's the power, and then there's the audio jack that goes to the computer as well. Um, you can see here that I've got network um, cables in. This one runs to the camera that will be outside, which I haven't got yet, but essentially it's a long cable that runs down to this point, and then this just connects into here and runs through. This is gonna be under my desk, so it's sort of somewhat hidden. I need to clean up these a little bit. Um, this is the other cable that's gonna to run to my computer. Now, I tested this yesterday. Let's see, I've got my adapter on here, because I've got a MacBook Pro, uh, and it only has um, USB-C type connectors. I tested this yesterday to see if the one that I wired it in here is the one that I wired in um, to my socket over here. And unfortunately, nothing lit up. Uh, neither of them. I tested both the sockets and neither of them lit up. So that what that suggests to me is that actually, one of these is my TV and the other two, these are actually the ones that run to um, the other side of the room behind me. And the two that I wired in are actually the two here. So it does sort of mean that I've got to finish doing all the network wiring today. Um, which is a bit of a pain, but there we go. You can see though, um, I think my wiring is all okay, because you can see five and six on here. These are, if you, and if you follow these down, these go into here, and this runs down through the conduit to the house. So I know that the house is connected to here, which is good. So if there's any problems, then it will most likely be the internal wiring in, the, in this building, in the, in the garden office. Um, and I'm gonna neat map all of this kind of cable because it's kind of hanging here at the moment. It's just to get it, an idea of it all kind of working. And I set this up um, a couple of weeks ago, this switch a couple of weeks ago, so um, it's all ready to go. Um, normally I don't have the lights on on it, but I just switch them on for the time being. You can switch the lights on and off with these Unify switches um, so that you know every, everything's just kind of dark. But I switch them on for the time being just so I can test and see how the network is going. Um, lighting, I'm not going to be bothering with lighting for the minute. I haven't got my wall lights yet, um, so I don't really need to worry about the switch. Um, I've taped up the ends there, I've taped up the ends there, but actually the, um, the the switch for the lights, which is this one, is actually switched off for the moment, so I don't actually, these aren't live or anything, I can touch them, they're fine. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, finish off my networking and then start moving stuff in. The other thing you can see is I finished up the coving. It was a bit difficult to um, cove in, I'm not sure if that's the right word, sort of trim, it goes around the floor. Um, I couldn't um, film it very easily. It was quite a fiddly job. Um, I did film a little bit of it, which you would have seen, um, but ultimately I glued it all in. Now I glued it all in with uh, mitre bond, which is the same stuff I used on my roof because actually it's specifically less for plastics and more actually for wood and coving and cornices and things like that. But um, it didn't stick that well. I came in this morning and it, and it hasn't unstuck itself during the night, but um, something sort of tells me that actually a lot of it is just kind of, because these are all tight fits, they're, they're sort of, you know, being held in place by themselves as opposed to of the glue. But I think we'll um, just have to see how that goes as time goes on. And if they come off, then I'll, I'll be using grip fill instead. Uh, there is a tiny gap in this floor just here well, I didn't quite cut this as neatly as I could have done or should have done. I measured it up, but I just I must have made some kind of error somewhere. Um, and I'll just fill this in at some point with some um, wood, some dark coloured wood filler or something. Or yeah, I haven't worked out yet. But anyway, I'll do that. And uh, yeah, everywhere else is looking pretty good, really. It feels like a, a room, and this floor is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to the networking.
absolutely fine um, because I'm obviously screwing into wood behind it, which is great, and it all powers on. There's the plug socket behind here, and there's a network socket behind here. I haven't fitted the uh, face plate on the network socket yet. Probably should have done that before I put the TV up to save me getting it down again, but never mind, it's up there now, so that looks good. Bit of an older TV, but still pretty happy with it, really. Um, but um, I was packing up, and my wife popped in and gave me a card and some gifts just to say sort of well done for doing the garden office. So she gave me uh, this card, which is brilliant. Um, this little, this is a Tanqueray Sevilla gin and tonic so that I can just drink that as is. And I'll think I'll drink it in a minute in, uh, in celebration of moving in. And this Game Boy mug, which is really cool. I had a Game Boy t-shirt recently. Anyway, the point is, is that it's shrunk in the wash and I'm gutted. But she bought me this Game Boy mug to sort of replace that, which I'm delighted about because I've been trying to get some different mugs anyway lately. So um, yeah, it was just a really nice little little gift and, and a great end to the day. I'm I'm really delighted with everything, and um, I think it's going to be really great to work from here. It's, a, it's this wonderful um, creative space that I can use to um, you know work from and have the separation space that I need. Uh, just to just to kind of do what I need to do really and, and yeah I'm, I'm really pleased. I'll, I'll go through a bit more about kind of everything um, in the room soon and I'll tidy things up and I'll get a shelf and all that sort of thing but for now um, th this is it I'll do an update and a full tour video soon so thank you very much everyone for watching uh, my build series uh, where I went through the process of building my garden office I'm, I'm really delighted uh, with everything and yeah, I will see you again soon. Thanks guys. Thank you